Welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. You know, a lot of people over the years have asked me, can you effectively plow your driveway with an ATV and a plow? I've been asked many times in comments of my videos, and I'm gonna address that question today. And there may be people out there that may wanna learn more about plowing their own driveways with an ATV. So let's get into the discussion now, and I'll show you what I use, and I may even show you what I'm about to use. And no, it's not this one here. So first of all, this winter is going to be the fifth winter plowing this driveway with this ATV and this plow system right here. Now let me start off. The, I have a gravel driveway that is 0.3 of a kilometer long. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Quarter of a mile, maybe over a quarter of a mile long out to the road. And then I got paved driveway comes up to the house and then I got one that goes to my shop. And then there's a gravel part of my driveway that where I put my shelter, my trailer and all that. And, and that also has to be plowed. I also like to plow in behind the house because I take my firewood around to the back and I store a lot of firewood underneath my deck because my wood furnace is in the basement and there's a walk outdoor there. So there's a lot of plowing around here that I have to do. So when we first moved here, it was early October and I had been thinking about how I'm going to plow this driveway. Was I going to hire somebody with a truck to plow the driveway? What were my options? What was I going to do? So my neighbor has a similar driveway and I asked him, I said, what is he charging you to plow your driveway? And there's a guy that came with a truck and a plow blade and it was $60 a plow. And that was four years ago, right? So I thought $60 a plow is going to be a lot. And I think in mine would probably be like 70, 75 because of the little extra I have to do. So I thought I didn't really want to pay somebody to plow the driveway at that cost. And I'm thinking this year, like that was 2017. Now it's 2021. We're going into 2022. I'm thinking with the gas prices going way up, insurance costs are going way up for uh, people who do snow removal, those prices are gonna go up. And I'm thinking we're gonna be looking at close to $100 for this driveway just to plow it. So this year is gonna be different than other years because of gas prices and insurance prices. So about two or three weeks after I moved here, you know, I was driving back and forth to work at the time, and there is a dealer, an ATV and side-by-side -side dealer that was just on the highway here, right by my place, and he had this used Suzuki Iger. It's a 2004 Suzuki Iger 4x4. He had this sitting out front on consignment. So I drove by it for a few days and I thought, I need one of these, not just for snow. I need it for moving firewood around, pulling trees out of the woods and for having fun. Let's face it, these things are a lot of fun. I wanted a toy, but I didn't really want to go new at the time because we just bought a house and all those expenses and everything. So I stopped in to see him and we made a deal on this. You know, it was very low on kilometers and I asked him about hooking up a plow to it and he said, yes, it's possible. I didn't know anything about plowing snow with an ATV at that point. So I had to ask questions, right? And he said it was possible. So like I said, I made the deal on the Suzuki Iger 400 4x4. And about a week later, I was looking around online for plow blades for this machine. And there's a dealer that's about 45 minutes south of here and sold the click and go to plow system here that is made by Kimpex. I didn't really know anything about plow blades. I didn't know which were good, which were bad. Um, I got kind of lucky when I looked at this one and I chose this one because this thing is a beast. I, I really like this plow blade. It's never broke down on me and it's amazing to use. And luckily the ATV already had a winch on it or else I would have had to buy a winch as well. So first of all, let's get into the question. Is it possible to plow a driveway effectively? Is it possible to plow snow with an ATV? It sure is. Um, no problems at all. And those were questions I had when I first started. Um, I was looking into the ATV and a plow. I didn't know if it was possible, but I took a chance because I seen other people doing it and it must be possible to do effectively. Now, what do I mean by effectively? I mean, like when you get a ton of snow, like, I mean, I've had a ton of snow and how is this thing gonna push all that snow? Is it gonna handle good? Am I gonna be fighting it? Am I gonna need chains for the tires? I didn't know, I, I had all these questions in my head. So I just learned by trial and error. And you know what? This thing tracked no problem. I think I had one year and I think it was last year there was, it would kind of move a little bit, but the snow was heavy. It snowed a lot. Plus it had rained, it had been mild. And it, the snow was really heavy. 
And when I was pushing snow, it would kind of slide out a little bit on me. But you know what? It did the job. I, I fought through it. It wasn't that bad. And that was the only time I had trouble really pushing snow, but it got the job done and it was not a big deal. And I didn't need chains for the uh, tires. A lot of people ask me, do you need to put chains on them? Um, no, no, I don't believe you did. Cause this is be my fifth year and I have never had to use chains and I've plowed snow in all kinds of conditions here. So I don't think so. Now let's get into what plow I use. Okay, so like I said, I got the Kimpex click and go to plow system. I've even got the same blade at the bottom of the plow here. All I did was flip it around. It started to wear a bit here on one side, so I flipped the blade around and it's been, like I said, four years, so it's been great. Now what size of ATV should you have? You should probably not go with anything lower than a 400cc. This does the job. But if I had a bigger one, like this one here is a 500, this would definitely push a lot more better than this one will. This one pushes fine, don't get me wrong. But the more powerful the ATV, the easier your job is going to be. And it won't be so hard on your ATV. Now this ATV here would make a good plow machine, that's for sure. It's a CF Moto 500. It's got a lot of power. It's got great suspension and good tires. I can see these working very well in the snow. But this is my son's, he just bought it. It has very low miles on it. And he has no plans of plowing snow with his machine. This is just mainly for pleasure. But I have a surprise I wanna share with you guys. Um, something new that I have, and I hope to be plowing snow really soon with it. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Okay guys, this is what I've been holding out on. This could be my new snow removal machine. It's a 2021 CF Moto Z Force EX. It's got power to push snow, let me tell you. This thing is a lot of fun. I just recently got this like three weeks ago. Been playing with it, been playing out in the water puddles and the trails and the mud, been having a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna let you in on something in a minute, so don't go anywhere. And so this is what I've been wanting ever since I moved here. I've been wanting a side-by-side. -side. I was happy with the ATV, don't get me wrong. Like, like I said, I've had it four years. It's a workhorse around here, but this is what I've been wanting for pleasure. This is what I've been wanting for plowing snow. But the only problem is I don't have a blade for it and they're kind of costly for a side-by-side. -side. They're a bit expensive. So trying to see what I can do. So this machine here is 60 inches wide. A blade for this comes in 70 inches wide. And that blade over there is 60 inches. So this thing is gonna push a lot of snow. So like I said, it, I've been kind of quiet about it. I've had it for a few weeks now. And not only that, I started a new YouTube channel that's all about this and the blue CF Moto ATV that belongs to my son. That channel is dedicated mostly to this and that ATV. But we're gonna be plowing snow with this CF Moto side-by-side -side here on this channel. And I'll probably put a few snow plowing videos over on that channel too. So if you're interested in checking out that channel, I named it CF Moto Side Rider. CF Moto Side Rider. Come on over, check it out. It's doing really well. I have about 11 videos up at the moment and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I'll leave a link to that channel down below as well where you can go over and check it out because I'm pumping videos out on that channel like you wouldn't believe. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing. I got so many ideas. So again, can you plow a driveway with an ATV? One word answer, yes. Before you go, don't forget to watch one of these two videos here and thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.